The good life principle called the great life adventure is the centerpiece item of a, what I would consider to be a well-lived life. A life, though, that is uh, driven or compelled to make some adventure of itself. Some people don't seem to be so driven. They're more content with a sedate, settled life, coming home to a same place, enjoying the same routines, watching the same shows on a comfortable, from a comfortable sofa, eating the <clears throat> same familiar foods and doing the same routines all the live long day, every day, to the end of life. To, the, to such people, a great life adventure might mean something different or might have no meaning at all. It might be uh, a, a trip to Vegas or a, a holiday, a vacation holiday in a foreign country once or twice or thrice in a lifetime. That's not the one I'm speaking of, although it is the same. It is the same thing. Great life adventure can also be something that defines who we are in the, co the course of our life. A couple of examples might be, um, for example, there's some positives and negatives. For example, a great life adventure might be going away to university and spending some years gaining a degree and all that is entailed in that. Another might be enlisting in the military, or even more so, going, being sent, being deployed, sent to war. The uh, men and women who fought in, our, in the United States great wars, like, like World War II, came home with a great life adventure. A lot of them uh, lived out that. They rode that adventure, the accolades, the memories, the com companionship for the rest of their life. You still see some here in 2024, some old men with their hats that say they're the, the service that they did collecting together at the donut shop down the street on a Saturday or Sunday morning to talk about old times and enjoy their fellowship and camaraderie. Another uh, type could be uh, the, the, the continental tour, like, like young people used to do after university, young people of means touring the, the European continent, seeing all the great cities, the old si sites, Rome and Naples and uh, you know, Berlin and uh, London, etc., Paris, of course. There can also be what are, might be considered rather negative great life adventures. For example, I'll just use my own example. My, my parents' breakup and divorce was a, a great life adventure. Great doesn't mean fun, necessarily. It means a significant event that can occur that to, through which we traipse and try to find our way through to the other side. Some of us don't find our way through. Some of us come through the other side broken and and uh, distraught and uh, giving up. Others come through the other side fortified and strengthened with scars and bruises, um, ready to make what make a better life, in spite of the the difficulty, or uh, maybe fortified as a result, encouraged by it. Lastly. There's the deliberate great life adventure. The adventure that comes of making the decision <clears throat> to have such a thing in your life. I've done that many times uh, from the hitchhiking trips that I took as a youth across the western United States, three summers that I did that, to going away to university in a motor, motor home, potato chip truck to be homeless and take on that challenge to the... Uh, um, four times so far that I've changed countries with my wife, and we're about to do our fifth time. So we're un my wife and I are underway with a great life adventure right now, about to dissolve this life, quit our jobs, get rid of everything, and go off to live in a new life, in a new life in Japan. These are all great life adventures. And I recommend that if you are so inclined, it's not for everybody, like I said. Some people would rather stay home and watch reruns. But if you're so inclined, then give it a try. You do so by stepping lively upon, and with courage, courage upon the path of wildness, which, as I said in yesterday's video, is easy to find. It's the course of this dream. Leaves blown in the wind. A beast's track through the brush in the direction of our first inclination. Remember, death is coming so soon. We're going to be, if you're lucky, old and frail and confused. 
that's going to happen sooner than we think. The time to do a, such an adventure is now. But only if we have the freedom and liberty to do so. I don't, I didn't say means, right? Means can be found. But once we have children, we have to be careful about how we execute our great life adventures because we are first allegiance and obligation is towards their well-being. doesn't mean you can't do it. You just have to do it carefully. All right, I think I've gone on enough about the great life adventure. 